Here are the horoscopes for the 6th to the 12th of December 2021. We have a couple of very strong weeks coming in as we reach a real breakthrough point, taking us all the way back to early 2019. So that's the landscape that we're looking at here is the long haul and it's more of a collective feel that we're exploring here and how that can then affect us personally. So the reason for this is that we begin the week with Neptune turning direct and this only leaves Uranus retrograde. By the 24th of December we have the final Uranus Saturn square which we've spoken about before Saturn being the old way Uranus being the new way that's very much an energy that's permeated this past year since they both moved together into Aquarius to start a new age last winter solstice. So that tussle is still going on and it's worth keeping that in mind as one of the main themes for 2021. But with Neptune turning direct since the summer solstice this year, then we've truly been on a voyage of discovery inwards to find our true essence and our true frequency. We're clearly being shown on the outside what we don't want in the world as the veils are peeled away and some hard truths are revealed in the process. But reflectively, have you had the strength of character and the soul vision to turn inwards and visualise and feel how you'd like things to be, to be part of the solution rather than focusing purely on the problem? So Neptune's slowly turning direct now, like a tuning fork, tuning us into the superpower of our imagination. So tuning forks pick up on frequencies. We have in physics what's called the law of entrainment, which is if one tuning fork is placed next to another one, then the tuning fork with the highest frequency will raise the frequency of the lower one. So this is really important when we're exploring our frequency and Neptune turning direct to realise that through feeling, through imagination, through peeling off what's not true, through focusing inwards rather than getting caught up outwards, then you actually have the superpower to set your frequency and even raise the frequency around you. And if enough people did that collectively, then that's actually providing the new way that things are going to be. So we're entering an Aquarian age. Visualise the zigzags of Aquarius as the transmission reception, the waves that go out from your heart and return back, the electromagnetic principle of life, what you're putting out, you're calling back in. And although many people are trying to control the world with their mind, once we realise the main thing that we do control is our frequency, what we're feeling, then we can really start to be very powerful transmitter receivers. Some of the other channels are also transmitting. So like I say, we have only Uranus retro now, taking us towards that final square with Saturn. And this is going to be muddied slightly with the upcoming Mercury retrograde as well. So we're not really looking for direct action, we're looking for the treasure in the challenge as we head into a couple of weeks of very necessary challenge. But the general feeling is complete breakthrough. So on Monday into Tuesday we've got the Moon in Capricorn and this week really is all about Capricorn and Aquarius. So to put that in context, I've just spoken about Saturn and Uranus being squared off. And Saturn is a very Capricorn feeling, the old, the established, the structure but that has to be broken down on a regular basis to make sure that that's supportive and not restricting. And Uranus is the champion planet of Aquarius, which is let's create a new way that's equal, that's fair, that has the vision and the room to grow into. So for the first couple of days this week while the moon's in Capricorn, that's going to highlight all of that Capricorn energy. And with the upcoming Mercury retrograde, which is going to be from the 13th of January to the 4th of Feb, as Mercury moves back from Aquarius into Capricorn, we can see that that journey is not going to be over just yet, as we'll be tuned in to really observe where we're placing our thoughts, our ideas, and what our better vision is. So maybe have a look at what's stopping you. Your thoughts and beliefs of an old system designed to keep you down. Lack and separation consciousness, where your mind is creating your own prison bars, your own limitations because it's really going to take the free thinkers and the visionaries to bring in the new way. We can't think ourselves out of the box with the same thinking that got us into the box. And there's a real collective feel here of something's crept up on us for so long that it seems normal. But we need that rebellious spirit to question what is normal. We've taken on board a lot of restrictions. Oh, that's just the way it is. 
but is it really? So we're in the challenge everything aspect and the ones that will be leading us out of this will be the ones that have already got some of the solutions and can think bigger from outside of the system and outside of the limitations. By Wednesday, Thursday, we then have the moon moving into Aquarius, which will highlight that aspect of ourselves. Once we've had a look at the problem, then can we feel the solution? Can we realise where we've been limiting ourselves, believing in falsities? where we've just gone along with things because that's what seemed normal, but not realising that there's a ever-tightening net or a sense of decay that we need to jettison. Quite a few of the old structures now that aren't serving us and stand sovereign and know what's right. So for Wednesday, Thursday, with the moon in Aquarius, having explored our fundamental beliefs and whether they're actually serving us and true, then we have a, a sense of a rebellious spark coming in put our attention and our vision into a better way of being and as I say with Neptune turning direct realizing that if you can feel that you're transmitting it if you're transmitting it then you're contributing and if the world reached critical mass on that level then nobody would tolerate corruption and decay anymore as we'd all be resonating like the higher pitched tuning fork and bringing everything up so that's some really deep energy already, but the main aspect of this week is that Venus and Pluto are heading towards a meeting on the 12th. And we're looking at 24, 25 degrees Capricorn, which is the crossover point to let go of what's not serving us, to escape the prison. Venus is our heart, our values, our appreciation, our gratitude, and Pluto's been slowly deconstructing anything that's not supporting that. So it's a week to go really deep and know what you value, know what you appreciate, know the power of your heart and what it's creating in order to make the most of this conjunction. And I feel this is so deep that this will actually be a period that's recorded in history when we look back with hindsight and see all the issues from an elevated perspective. So the whole week is about that really. Can you rise up? Can you see from a higher perspective? Can you join the dots? Once you've seen what's not right, can you centre on what is right, which is always going to be a soulful feeling, coming from integrity, authenticity, grace. Those are always attributes of the heart. So to get out of the head and the confusion, to turn the mind to do something valuable and actually study and discern what is right, what is wrong, what is higher frequency, what isn't serving us, what is the solution. And to witness the world changing from one system to another, right in front of our eyes. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available, zoehind7 at gmail.com. Happy to arrange a call with you to design the perfect content, which can be a chart reading, teaching your chart, actually having course modules or series of coaching sessions to help you get out of those mental prisons that have calcified over the decades. All of that is also available as a gift voucher, which is a wonderful gift at this time to help tune everybody in with which you'll receive a copy of the chart and an e-voucher as something physical that you can give to make a wonderful and lasting gift. I've also completed my Transcending the Negative Mind series. The Sagittarius version is up now. That's on my YouTube channel, Zoe Astro, with these videos and more. So a very deep tectonic week as the plates are shifting, as we raise our vibration, we can hover above some of the chaos by not being attached to it and achieve a higher perspective of what's really going on here and why and how we can be a positive force for change. So those are the horoscopes this week and I'll see you next week.